Hi everyone! So, it's Friday 5. Actually, I'm recording this on Thursday, but you will see it on Friday. And it's very exciting for me because it is a topic that I suggested. So we were asked to, you know, give topics and everything and, you know, ideas. And I was just thinking, you know what? We've never done cover songs. And you have professional covers and people all over um, YouTube. And some people are, are like really good. One is more personal for me because I know the person, I'm related to the person. And actually I had no plans on doing this. It just happened at the last minute. And I told him, well, put something out there and let me listen to it. He's, he, he's an amateur and he still needs work and everything, but, it, you know, it's his goal and everything. And as his sister and as a YouTuber, I am here to promote and everything. So I stuck his little butt in the middle. Um, I told him, you ain't getting number one just yet, but you're getting better. So, like I said, this week's topic, yes, I believe I said it, if I sound tired or nasally or anything, I apologize, I have come down with a cold, so I'm really trying to stay positive for this video and try to remember everything that I just said five seconds ago. So, yeah, cover songs, that is the topic for this week. As always... Friday Five was created by Sarah Crawford, who has an excellent channel, and everyone else who does Friday Five, you know, excellent. So anyways, yes, on with the Friday Five. So, at number five, at number five, I have Miley's cover of Dido's No Freedom. Now, Dido is an artist that's usually a little bit more laid back and pretty much what she's known for except for a couple of songs. Um, though Miley actually makes the song slower than the original version. Um, yeah, Dido's version is a little bit more lively. And, you know, just a little bit more upbeat than her normal style, whereas Miley kind of slows it down a little bit. And, you know, people pick on Miley and this and that. I'm not the biggest fan of hers, but I actually think she did the song really well. And she just, like, really got into the lyrics and everything. And I love the reason why she picked it and, and stuff. And it's just really good. At number four, I have Adele's cover of the Cure's love song. Now one is uh, basically the you know is known to be an alternative goth whatever kind of band you want to call them and Adele is more well top 40s kind of you know artists and everything but they are both good artist and I think she really did the song really well. The original isn't super hard or super fast, it's not that style of music, so it wasn't a huge, huge leap um, from The Cure to Adele. Just kind of more in style, but I really think that she just did a lovely job on the song and it just sounds so beautiful. And so at number three, I have one, as I mentioned, a little bit more personal. And that is my little brother. Well, he's telling me. I can't call him my little brother. He's my younger brother. Um, his name is Michael, or on his channel name, he's going by name, name, Joseph. So I will link his channel down below because he's trying to get into singing and everything. So... Thought this would help give him a little bit of exposure. He still needs work and everything, but, you know, I think, you know, he's doing a good job putting himself out there. And even if he's not the best, you know, he's still trying. And 
I think that's pretty good. So he did a cover of Adele's Hello. So I thought I'd kind of put those two together. But I think he did a pretty good job, so. At number two, I have Imogen the Imogen Heap's cover of Thriller, which I don't even remember how I found because it's not on any of her CDs or anything, and I forgot why she did it. But um, it's actually a very slowed down version of the song, and when you listen to her voice and just piano, that song really has some creepy ass lyrics to it. And it really has this nice dark effect when it is slowed down. And Imogen, you know, it's just so, her voice is unique and she's just so creative. And yeah, that had to be at number two. So at number one is the Evanescence cover of Thoughtless by Korn. Now, that's probably where I first heard that song. And, um... It's not really too different from the original. It's just kind of more like a female voice versus a male voice and everything. But it still has a lot of the anger and everything. She did it live, so I really do love her live voice. And again, her voice is unique and everything. And just that anger and passion and everything. I really think she did the song justice. So, sorry the video isn't the greatest. I'm still sick. But still... Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to all your guys' videos because they're all fantastic. And anybody else watching, come join the Friday Five because it is so much fun. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.